Hey y'all. Y'all, I got the Beyond Sausage Egg and Cheese from Dunkin' Donuts. And I have the Snack and Bacon, the new bacon it was, they came out with. It's seasoned, it's like a lemon pepper, peppery seasoned bacon. Um, yeah. Try the Beyond Meat Stuff. Mm. And I also have the new matcha iced coffee. I'm so used to drinking matcha tea. It's not bad though. Jesus. Mm. I need to meet that. Well, the meat. Mm. Mm. Ah. Hot. I sticking out the back. Mm. Hot. I feel like this week is flying by. Mm. Yeah, the bacon is sweet. It probably got some, like, some brown sugar or something in it. That's what it tastes like. I really want to tell y'all a little bit about myself because I know a lot of my subscribers are not people that actually know me or have met me before. But I am from Baltimore City. Um, I'm 27 years old. I have two children, a boy, a girl. My daughter is eight and my son is one. I do makeup. I'm a makeup artist. My current favorite thing to do would be create content for YouTube. My favorite color, I would have to say, if it was to be, if I was to have, have to choose that favorite color, I would say yellow. But my favorite color to wear would be black. And I love like a, I love like a maroon color. My favorite thing to watch. I watch YouTube a lot. 
my favorite TV show at the moment. I just started watching Grey's Anatomy and I love it. It's crazy because I've never watched it before. I recently watched it probably like a, a few days ago. I'm still on season one, y'all. Um, my favorite uh, like series. Well, another favorite show. I would have to say Ozark. I'm just waiting for it to come back on. Hey, baby. Biggest pet peeve. I would have to say repeating myself. I hate repeating myself. I hate repeating myself. And another one is I hate when people, it's crazy. I hate when people burp and don't cover their mouth when they're close to me. I hate that. Like, I will instantly get an attitude. Like, I hate it so much. Like, if I could just snap my fingers after somebody burped by me without covering their mouth and I could snap my fingers and that person would be gone, I would do that. I absolutely hate when people burp and don't cover their mouth and they are in my proximity. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that. That's the way that pissed me off. Really. I'm trying to think of everything, y'all. My favorite song, my favorite artist, I would have to say, my favorite artist is Beyonce. I love Beyonce. And I also love um, Janine. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She is the R&B, like soul singer. I think she's from, I don't know what country she's from. I know she's not from the USA. I know that for a fact. But she has um, amazing music. I'm gonna link her name so y'all can check out her music. Amazing music, like I love her. She's the best artist ever. She's really, really, I think she slept on, but throughout the years, I was just, I thought she would just like blow up. And I, um, I think she's like, she need more, she need to get more, notice more, I, I think so. But I love her music, I love, love, love her music. What else? How many kids would I like to have? I'm fine with the two I got. I don't want no more kids. I always said I want five kids. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If whoever I meet got kids, bam, there we go. That's the family. I ain't having no more kids. I can't do it. Being a single mom is so hard. Like, so hard. Like, people that got help, y'all better be grateful, man, because Raising kids by yourself with no help. It's hard, like, hard. A lot of my kids won't get wrong, but it's hard. My dream car is a GMC Suburban blacked out black out, like black rims. Like, I don't want nothing silver on my car. I want it to be just blacked out. Black tents, suburban, GMC. That's my dream truck. That's my dream car, y'all. I want that truck. I want it, and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that truck. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get it, but I'm gonna get it. Where do I see myself in five years? I see myself uh, being a successful, being a successful, YouTube content creator. Uh, I think I want to be more like in tune and hands on with children that had my type of upbringing. I wouldn't say like mentoring kids, but kind of, kind of like a guidance counselor to to children in a way that was brought up like me, like unstable living um, circumstances. Being a child, I was moved around a lot in my in my um, family, like my household. I can say I didn't really have, I want to say, stability as as a child growing up. From for some point, I did, and in, in time, I did, and I'm thankful for that. 
But um, it does take a toll on children when you have to keep moving around, moving from house to house to house, family member, family member, family member. They get unattached. Well, I did, speaking for me. Um, they try to not to get too close to people because they don't know what's next. And as far as friends and family members, you don't want to get too close. You don't want to get too uh, emotionally attached to people because you never know um, what might be next, you know, so. And sometimes, at times I probably thought that nobody really understood me. Per se. But it's far much, a lot, a lot of children go through that. And probably act like it don't affect them, but in reality it do, it affects you, it affects you as you get older and you have relationships with people and you just, it's so easy for me to block out people and, um, get over people once they make me mad because uh, I had to have that defense mechanism growing up when I was a child. So, yeah. But, yeah. That would be cool. I'm not trying to talk about that. And what else? Um, no, I don't know. I think I covered mostly everything. How many siblings I have? I have a sister, and I have on my dad's side, and I have uh, uh, three brothers on my mom's side. The bacon is super sweet though, y'all. Super sweet. Um, I think my son had that pretty good. I doubt if they're gonna be selling in four hours. Probably just a limited time only thing. Concludes my good to know me. I'll cover it every day. Yo, follow me on Instagram. I'm most active on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna put the link. I mean, I'm gonna put the name on my page right here in this screen. Yeah. So follow me on Instagram, y'all. Okay. <laughs> My friend gave me some sage. Mm. I hope I don't burn the house down. I'm trying to burn it up. I'm trying to burn some sage. How y'all feel about sage? Comment down below. Do you feel they get rid of like bad energy and how do y'all feel about sage? Do y'all believe in sage? Alright. Bye y'all.